Yo, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? How are you guys? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing good. Uh, yes, yeah, so it'll be archived so you guys can rewatch it later. I'm doing good too. We're gonna get ready to do some coding. We're just gonna go right into it. Chill stream today. Okay, give me one sec. I'm just open up my directory. There we go. Awesome. I very want to make a bot with dashboard. Yeah, you will. You will. Trust me. You will. Don't worry about it. You definitely will. Let me know if my audio is too, like my mic. Let me know if my mic's too loud. You guys let me know. You guys tell me if my mic is too loud, okay? Test one, two, three. Is my mic good? Yay or nay? Say yes or no. Is my mic good? Test one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is it good? Is it too low? It's quiet? Okay, what about now? Is it better? I just want to minimize the air conditioner as much as possible, you know what I'm saying? Okay, good. All right, we'll keep it like this then. Okay, great. Awesome. Okay, so basically, uh, let me just make sure. Okay, so let me run the dashboard so you guys can see what it looks like. And let me actually just lower the music just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Yo, welcome to the stream, everyone. Welcome to the stream, guys. Glad to see you guys all here. All right, let's see. LS, NPM run, start dev. CD, CD code ring, bot, react, the orange star. All right, so we will run our app so you guys can see what we have so far. And if you guys have any questions, you guys are more than welcome to ask. I'm going to be answering any question, any question today. So you guys let me know what questions you guys have. And I'll try my best to answer them. Sound good? Awesome. And before we even get started, I just want to uh, announce for those who missed it, we are doing another event, okay? We're doing another uh, event, and I announced what the event was, so you guys have some time to prepare. It's going to be a Discord dashboard, so if you're interested, uh, you're more than welcome to enter. You don't have to sign up or anything, you just have to just be there and contribute, okay? And the winner will get a $50 Amazon gift card. I know it's not a lot, but the whole point of this whole event is to get people to learn and collaborate with each other practice and get better and plus if you come if you participate in this event you'll actually develop the skills to build an actual dashboard i know everyone's been wanting to do it but this time you'll actually be able to build a dashboard with everyone else so you'll be able to learn a lot of things in my opinion so i think it's a win-win but yes the top contributor will definitely get a 50 dollars amazon gift card last event we did 25 this event we're doing 50 maybe the next event we'll do 100 and then the next next event we'll do 200 and then maybe someday we'll do 500 who knows so make sure you guys join the discord server make sure you guys uh react to the correct role so you get live updates and uh yeah that's really all i have to say so hopefully i hope you guys will actually participate because i think it's gonna be lots of fun it's it's possible to run back in front end and bot with just one you could yes you could will you get points for how you lay out your code uh what do you mean by how you lay out so here's one thing that I got to mention right now is uh, I'm still working. The website is always going to be in maintenance mode. And I'm working on a feature where uh, when you comment on other people's PRs, other people's pull requests, you'll get points too. And like I said, the points will be added up. It's going to be basically a virtual currency. And you can use the points to redeem something like, you know, uh, like a Nintendo Switch or a PS4. Obviously, I'm just saying random stuff, but it's true. Like, it could be a possibility that you'll be able to use those things. You know what I mean? So don't think that just because you don't win that, you know, it's just a waste of time. We're working on a virtual shop right now, or I am actually. And yeah, I just want to motivate as much people as possible to be coding and stuff. Do you know if you can host the backend API on Netlify? I've never used Netlify, so I can't, I can't say, sorry. 
I can't really say. All right. Oh man. Okay, anyways, um, let's go ahead and get rid of this. We don't need that. Oh, wait, what did I just do? Okay, glad to know I can reopen up my terminal. Okay, we don't need that right now. We just need to run the application. Like, so obviously, we're not logged in because if I try to go to menu, it's going to redirect me. Oh, oh, we're still logged in. Okay, good. I'm not sure how long uh, our cookie lasts. What is React? React is a front-end JavaScript framework that allows you to build powerful websites. Lots of dynamic components. Very amazing. You'll have to actually use it in order to really understand what React is. If you've never used React before, it's very hard to really understand what it means for uh, something to be like a user interface component type of thing. I would highly suggest learning React and seeing what it could do and then make your best judgment. Do you recommend PM2 for running bots on a VPS? Absolutely. There's PM2. You can also run Docker. You can also use a bunch of different things, but PM2 is honestly really good. I'm developing a Discord bot with music functionality, and I'm hoping to get 100 plus servers. I'm hosting it on Google Cloud, but I'm not sure how much RAM. Uh, I'm not sure. I think Google Cloud only, I think the lowest, the cheapest tier Google Cloud gives is, I think, 1 gigabyte and uh, of RAM and 1 CPU. Same thing with EC2. EC2. Um, I think most uh, most tiers are like that, like DigitOcean. But honestly, I think you need at least, I would say, honestly, you would pro I would probably say at least 2 gigs of RAM and two virtual cpus i think that would be more than enough it really depends music functionality is a is, is a beast i know that i'm not anson but pm2 is pretty good yeah i mean it is pretty good can i host bot with dashboard on google cloud of course you can host anything on google cloud Yo, but if you guys are new to stream feel free to check out the discord server the link is in the description we're hosting a brand new event it's going to be mern stack okay and the winner gets a 50 dollar amazon gift card so hopefully if that interests any of you guys uh, you're more than welcome to participate. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I gotta say. I host bots on Microsoft Azure, and it works well. But I'm thinking about getting Sky Silk. I have no idea what Sky Silk is, but I use DigitOcean. And if you want to use DigitOcean, I would highly recommend it. I've been using it for a very long time. I'm not even sponsored by them. I just enjoy using the product because they are amazing. Never had a single issue with them. They have amazing customer service, and uh, they're very fast with uh, you know responses via email. I one time had an issue, like a technical issue, and they were able to resolve it for me by looking at my instance, and they were able to figure out what the issue was, so you know, hats off to them. But yeah, like, you know, uh, I hope you guys are asking questions, you know, like, uh, I want you guys to ask questions, you know, like, obviously we have this dashboard right now. The last thing that I showed you guys was the GraphQL layer, and it was, uh, it was working amazing, and I was so freaking happy that we were able to get GraphQL. The next step is to get Redux working. The next step is to get Redux working. Uh, with our application but that's going to be another time basically with this with these live stream i'm kind of just like messing around with everything to make the discord dashboard bot series as best as possible obviously that's like literally impossible to make something very you know very super good uh but you know we can try at least but i think GraphQL would be a definitely like a, 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 a must for our dashboard uh what's up ellie how are you how are you doing how to be a millionaire coding uh think of a good entrepreneur idea and then uh profit be like elon musk no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I'm not I'm not at that point yet, but if I ever reach that point, I'll definitely tell you guys. I'm so hyper and I just love when you're live. Yo, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Why is most of your code yellow? I have no... Oh, it's because it's a linting issue. Yo, chaotic. What the hell, man? Thank you so much for the donation. How do I show the amount of servers on my website? Uh, well, it really depends. Uh, what do you mean by amount of servers? Like, do you mean the amount of servers that your bot is in? If that's so, uh, there's an endpoint that you can hit, but that only shows 100 guilds. Um, it only shows 100 guilds, actually. By default, so you have to fetch over and over again. A better, an easy, you could do that. An easier thing to do is just to take the data from Discord JS and uh, send it to the front end. It's kind of hard for me to kind of like you know uh, send it to you right now, but if you if you like at me on uh, if you add me on Discord, I'll be more than happy to help you out. It's it's very tricky, you know what I mean? It's very tricky. It's a very tricky thing. But yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate the, uh, the five dollars. I really appreciate it. I gotta, I gotta see the thing is I gotta see your code. I have to see your code. I have to see what you've done before I can really give you an answer. I don't want to just say something and you'll just be like, "Yo, what the hell this guy's just say?" I want, my, I want my money back. You know what I mean? I don't want to say something like that. I want to give you like a full on, you know, thought thought out answer. So, just let me know on the Discord server, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll talk about that. I thought about making the bot connect with the URL of the site, but I don't know how since site hosting is okay. Guys, I actually want to tell you guys something. I'm actually about to buy a new domain soon. 
I'm not gonna say what the name is, but it's gonna be fucking sick. Like, I'm so excited to work on my next project, you guys have no idea. Like, every single day I wake up, I'm just thinking about new projects to work on. Um, and yeah, I just love it. Like, I just love working on side projects before uh, I get into work, because it gives me that nice adrenaline pump. But I I'm excited to announce my next project that I'm gonna be working on. I might work on it live on stream, I'm not sure. But uh, I don't want to say I don't I don't want to say uh, too much about it yet. Okay, I don't want to I don't want to talk about too much about it. But what I will say is that it's going to be using the GitHub API. Okay, it's going to be using the GitHub API, and it's going to basically make it so much easier to uh, find developers that you want to work with. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that I'm not gonna say anything else. That's all I'm gonna say. How did you? Oh, I have I have so many new announcements, guys. Like you have no idea. Like there's so much shit that's gonna be happening. Uh, over the next, you know, couple weeks, months, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to say anything yet because you know it's, uh, it's too soon to say. But once, uh, once it happens, you guys will know what's about to happen. And I'm super excited. How did you make the website actually interact with the bot instance? Uh, so basically, the website itself, uh, we're not directly interacting with the bot. If we were directly interacting with the bot, we would be using a WebSocket. We're kind of indirectly interacting with it. So basically, every single time we're making an update to the database, um. We're, we're just updating the database. That's all we're doing. And the Discord bot itself is fetching live, uh, not non-stale data. So if we update the prefix, the bot will also auto-update as well. New projects are what make us live. Yeah, exactly. I'm probably going to work on it live because I think it'd be much more fun to, you know, teach people at the same time. I'm definitely going to be using React. Like, I can definitely say the past month, I've gotten so much better with React. Uh, I'm actually really happy about that. MongoDB or QuickDB, is that even a question? Uh, honestly, uh, yeah, obviously MongoDB. QuickDB is like not QuickDB is just a wrapper around SQLite. Uh, I would not suggest. I would suggest not using it because um, personally, the uh, the reason why I'm not saying QuickDB is bad. The reason why I say it is because a lot of people uh, develop this habit of getting used to something and they don't want to learn anything new. And so that's why QuickDB is just like it's so easy to use. It's so simple, but like in the real application, you don't want to use something like QuickDB. You want to use like an actual real database engine like. Uh, MySQL or uh, Postgres or MongoDB. Do you think this way is better or the WebSocket? I think WebSocket is much better because you get live interaction and when you're updating the, the database, you'll directly talk with the Discord bot. I think that's much better. What is the difference between TypeScript and JavaScript? Well, TypeScript has uh, static typing. So basically, uh, I, like obviously, I would, you know, there's a whole video that I did on it. But type, I have a video that if you want to watch, I can send it to you. But TypeScript basically allows you to uh, write more stricter code. So you, you can't get away with things that you can get away in JavaScript and TypeScript. Uh, yo. Uh, so you can easily make it work with a simple API. Yes, absolutely. And so the problem is, is that right now we're not using a cache or a WebSocket. So we're fetching the database over and over again, which is bad. So if we don't want to use a WebSocket, we could use Redis. But I think Redis will be even more harder. So I'll probably have to use like a WebSocket. Yo, uh, Chaotic, thank you so much for the dollar donation again, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Postgres a good DB? Yes, it is. It's I think it's actually more uh it's better than MySQL in terms of uh uh optimization. Remember me? Sorry, I didn't have time to watch you. Yeah, of course I remember you, man. Welcome back to the stream, Jerbin. What's up? How are you? What makes Angular better than React? Uh, I can tell you a lot of things. Angular has built-in uh, form validation. It has built-in route uh, route guards as a built-in router. Uh, it has uh, observables as a built-in HTTP client. So you have to install Axios. Um, it has better structure than React. There's opinionated structure, but it's good because you follow a certain path. It has a CLI tool that allows you to generate whatever you want. You can generate a, a component. You can generate everything. Uh, you, you basically have all of your CSS files, all of your TypeScript files, all of your HTML files, all in different uh, files, which is much better than React that you have to do manually. Um, there's a lot more. Angular is more better for monolithic large applications. If you're building like a very large enterprise la enterprise application, you want to use uh, something like Angular. But if you're building a small application, React is the way to go. Like, here's the thing. Look, I could have done this in Angular, but honestly, uh, I, I thought I'd rather do it in React because I'd learn more. But, like, a simple application would be awesome doing it in React. Like, a very small one. Is it actually fast, though? I can't really tell you because I've never really... Uh, I, I haven't uh, tested out. I haven't done any metrics yet. Or I haven't done any uh, testing yet. So, I can't, uh, benchmarks, sorry. I can't really, you know, say too much. That's not better. It's just more limited, but it's, I mean, it's easier... I mean, I, w I wouldn't say I wouldn't say Angular is like uh, I wouldn't say Angular is better than React, and I wouldn't say React is better than Angular. But I would say it has its pros and cons. Of course, you know, one can say that Angular has a lot of stuff that's built in, which a lot of people might enjoy because you don't have to install a bunch of different dependencies. The downside to that, you have 
longer build times because you have to build a bunch of shit you have to compile a bunch of shit and when you install angular when you have to rebuild the entire like reinstall all your modules it takes a lot longer with react you're free to do whatever the hell you want so there's no like you know i must use this i must use that you can do whatever you want there's no you know right or wrong way you you choose what you want to do angular has an opinion in a way so source code will be public uh no no comment but angular is just straight up painful to code i mean look i'll admit look i started off with Vue, right i loved Vue, but i had to move on to angular because i needed i needed to learn angular for my job for one of my jobs last year and it was honestly very easy for me to learn it because i already knew a framework and i understood the concepts and i understood what the main point of the framework was and when you understand the concepts over the actual framework it opens you up to a lot of new things right obviously every framework has its own structure okay uh but with angular it does have a higher learning curve because there's a lot of things to angular and it, honestly i just don't recommend it for beginners like if you're good with react honestly keep that skill because there are so many jobs in react compared to angular there, there are many more jobs out there with react compared to angular like i currently work as a react dev and when i when i was applying for jobs like i mostly saw react jobs rather than angular like there were some angular jobs um but not as much as react how has your day been guys mine has been good thank you for asking i hope everyone else has been doing well too sorry i'm asking a lot of questions no that's the point of the stream i want to start making a javascript program the modern website sneaker websites uh i would not suggest scraping because scraping can uh result in some consequences you should always resort to scraping as a last resort but if a website doesn't like you scraping their website they can actually sue you for it i know like the chances of it happening are very slim i mean i don't want to speak on behalf of but it is very slim but you don't want to take that risk you know what i mean if they have an api you should use the api instead never never ever resort to web scraping if they have an api use the api at all costs it's the fact that angular splits html yeah and type it's also angular is also like typescript first which is awesome i like it but I just wish it was more popular than React, in my opinion. Because I'm, I'm an Angular dev. Like, I love Angular. Hey, I'm pretty... Yo, Hopes, what's up, man? How are you? How's it going? Hey, I'm pretty new to coding. How the fuck do I fix the issue with Slappy? Where's the Slappy? is not recognized. Uh, so the issue is probably uh, your node modules. Uh, your global node modules is not working correctly. If you try to install TypeScript or NodeMon or some other module globally, and if you try to run the script, and if it doesn't work, that means that your global node modules path is messed up. That's usually the case. What if I'm scrapping my college website? I mean, I don't know if your college will go out their way to sue you. But, um, hey, man, if they do, then, uh, you know, expect a lawsuit. I mean, look, I don't want to say 100% that's always the case. The, like, the first thing, I'm pretty sure the first thing they'll do is they'll, they'll tell you to take down your, your service. And if you refuse to, then they'll then they'll file a lawsuit. But some people don't, some websites don't care. I mean, I don't think a college, I, I mean, I doubt a college website would really care that much. But, again, I don't know the college. I don't know what their policies are. So you you want to always consult with them first before you know don't don't take advice from strangers. Yo, Gal Sammy, how are you, man? How's it going? Can you use your API in Dev Console in Chrome? You can, but um, why would you want to do that though? Why don't you just write the code in you know JavaScript and execute it with Node? Or what are your favorite CSS frameworks? Or do you like vanilla? Uh, my favorite CSS frameworks are uh, React and Angular. I mean, all of them, really. I mean, I don't have a favorite. Like, I just like all of them. Like, I can't really say I have a favorite. If I were to really say I have a favorite, I would say Angular, for sure. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I interpret that as what are your favorite front-end JavaScript frameworks. I mean, I like Express. I like I like uh, Nest.js. I like Gra GraphQL isn't really a framework, but I like GraphQL, though. It's really freaking awesome. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look, I'll use anything. I, I'm a fan of... Uh, I'm not that I'm not th I'm not that type of guy that shits on people for using something. You know, you have people out there be like, "Oh my god, why are you using why are you using Java? You're so bad. You stop coding." I'm not that I'm not that type of guy. If you want to use vanilla JavaScript, I'll respect you for that. And in fact, I'll give you more respect because it's actually very difficult to do that. Not everyone can do that. You have to manually code everything. You have to manually create every single element. If you can do that, you have my respect 100%. You have you have my respect if you can do that. But yo, we got more people on the stream. Yo, welcome guys. So in case you guys missed it, make sure you guys join the server and make sure you guys check out the le the, the most recent event. Right, we're doing a Discord dashboard event, and I know it's gonna be awesome because we're gonna have three different projects that are gonna be live at the same time. There's gonna be a fifty dollars Amazon gift card prize, and we're gonna have more events in the future like this. So if this interests you, feel free to check it out. Uh, I think this is a good opportunity for many people to learn new things. That's the main point. That's my main motivation to host events. You know, considering it's the summertime and most people are probably lazy playing video games. This is a good way to motivate people to doing stuff. 
You know what I mean? So hopefully this motivates some of you guys. I know, you know, $50 might not be a lot to some people, but I know for other people, it might be a hell of a lot of money. So if you're good and if you contribute a lot, and if you, you know, uh, if you, if you're an active contributor, then who knows what this $50 gift card might be yours. And in the future event, you know, we'll have a hundred dollar gift card giveaway. We'll have a $200 gift card, uh, give us a prize. We'll have 400. Who knows? Who knows what? You, just, you guys just gotta try. You guys have nothing to lose except for, you know, maybe just a couple hours of time of the day. But, you know, like I said, it's summertime. Hopefully, you guys aren't really doing much. I, it, it, it is possible to make the connection between the bottom of my site where the site hosting does not support Node.js. Uh, it should support. I mean, if you're using a virtual private server, it should. Like, you should have an Ubuntu server that should be able to support it. Unless you're using, like, a dedicated web host or something. I'm not sure. Is there an easy fix with the path variables? Uh, I, I cannot tell you right off the bat. I would suggest maybe doing some Googling, maybe Google like, you know, node modules global and see if that helps. Uh, yo, what's up? Roman Beard, how are you? And what's up, Aspect, how are you? Bootstrap, bootstrap is good. I, I've used to, I used to always use Bootstrap to like just build simple shit because I was real lazy to, with uh, customizing my own CSS, but I've gotten tired of Bootstrap. I don't like it anymore. I personally just use Chakra UI for React and Material uh, UI for Angular. How's life? Life is, life is great, man. I can't complain. You know, uh, the channel is growing. The Discord server is growing. Uh, I'm being super active. Like, you know, uh, I was, I was on, I was on a hiatus for the past month. You know, I was trying to focus on my other, my other things. I was focusing on personal things, and I was do, I was making that up by streaming. And you know, uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm pretty excited. You know, the, I'm, I'm doing events. You know, I'm doing events. This was something that I've always wanted to be doing, and I'm glad that we're doing it finally. Right. Uh. And I got, I got more stuff ahead, guys. I got so many more things planned. I'm just trying my best to optimize my time, like, every single day. So, weekends are, like, my best days because I have, like, all day to just do whatever the hell I want in terms of coding. So, uh, yeah, that, that's all I got to say. Where's the giveaway in Discord? Uh, what, what giveaway are you talking about? I know, I, I know I am doing one giveaway uh, in terms of, I think, if you saw my recent post, I'm still doing that giveaway. It's still live. Probably might announce it next week. I might select uh, maybe a couple winners. Do you recommend building a website for people to learn how to be web developer? I mean, you could. Like, if look, if you want to build a service that helps other people, I am so for it. If you want to build a website that encourages people to code, go for it. Like, it's going to help other people. Go for it. If the websites don't have an API, should we resource scraping? Uh, well, I can't tell you what to do. What I can say is that scraping has consequences, and you should uh, take it with caution. Okay? You should take it with caution. It is that my hosting only supports Node.js and the planned SVPS, which is in case it's not. That's a, that's a yikes right there, man. That's a yikes. Uh, but yeah, with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, yeah, I would, you could, like, go, just go for it, man. Go for it. Like, don't even think about it. Just do it. Like, look, I literally woke up today, and I thought of an amazing idea. And I'm like, yo, I don't even care what people think about it. I'm just going to make it. I don't care. I'm going to make it. Like, I always just like, you know, thinking of ideas just making it. Like, I don't care what people say. Like, people are like, oh, my God, it exists already. Why are you making it again? I don't care. I want to make it because I want to do it. We're, we're developers, man. We're developers. We have the power to make whatever we want. Uh, Wazzy, Wazzy, uh, Wazzy's, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but welcome to the stream, man. What would use for pres professional backend? What do you mean by professional backend? What do you mean by that? Uh, what's the idea? Yo, I'm super freaking tired. Like, I only, I woke up at 2 a.m. today. I went out for a walk at, like, 5 a.m. to just get me hyped up. I drank two cups of coffee. I drank two cups of tea. Uh, I had lunch earlier, obviously. I'm just trying to uh, stay in the mood to make sure I don't uh, fall asleep on my keyboard. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay, man. Like, I'm doing okay. V Vashivko. Mm, okay, awesome. You know what? Let me actually, uh, you know, let me let me do something real quick. I got to buy this domain. I'm probably going to buy it. Should I buy it right now? I don't want to, I don't want to say too much about it, but let me see. Uh, yo, simply J dog. How are you? Like a big project, any language? Uh, personally, I, I would say like in, in the industry, people, mostly people do use express spring boot, all that kind of stuff. You can't go wrong with any of them. They're all, they're all very good frameworks. Uh, yeah, no probs, uh, Jahard. Do chill now. I love your streams. Yo, Mag, thank you, man. I appreciate it. How would you paste your own code on a website to your own domain? Uh, well, you don't paste the code. You transfer the files. Well, okay, so look, guys, I can buy the domain, but I can't, I, I don't have anything ready yet right now. Like, I don't have the, okay, look, I'll, I'll buy the domain. 
And I'm going to tell you guys exactly what the domain is going to be for. So give me one second. Let me buy the domain real quick. It's not going to it's not going to work right now, but let me let me get it right now. I don't know if you guys can uh give me one sec. I can't show you guys obviously cuz it's on the other screen cuz I I don't want to reveal my payment info. Uh let's see. So this domain is going to cost me $28.88. I I I bought a domain like 2 months ago for that same price. I bought codering.io. Uh I didn't regret it cuz I love that domain. It's a, I love that name so much. This one's going to cost me the same amount of money. But it's it's 2888 a year though. So honestly, I think that's pretty cheap for a domain in my opinion. If you ask me, I think it's pretty cheap. I don't think it's uh I mean for I mean realistically it is pretty affordable. I don't want to say it's cheap, but it is affordable. Not for everyone, but for some people. You know, so but generally, yes, if you, you know, if you can, I think it's definitely affordable. All right. Uh, let me go to my cart. Uh, yes, I'm using Namecheap. And guys, I'm actually going to buy this domain. And I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to connect the domain to uh, to your VPS. I, sh I should make a video on that. Actually, I don't have one. If we have a domain instead of localhost, should we just... So here's the thing. Look, le let me actually... like. So give me one sec, Breadcrumb. I'm going to explain to you. Uh, I'm gonna explain to you one thing that's gonna blow your mind away. Uh, XYZ domains are nice, but I don't know, man. I'm, I'm more of a fan of uh, .io. .io. .io domains are actually trending. Like back then, it was always .com. Now it's .io. Like .com domains are actually relatively cheap. They're only like nine dollars, like eight dollars a year. They're freaking cheap. Like, okay, let me get one domain. Let me get this domain real quick. Uh, confirm order. Uh, add a new card. Okay, let me just add my card real quick. Make sure I don't. Uh, share this stuff on stream. That would be horrible. Okay. Uh, continue. Oh, shit. I forgot to uh, do this. Alright, there we go. Should work now. Oh, wait. Whoops. Gotta type in my... Uh, okay. All right, so we are about to buy this domain, and I'm super excited to tell you guys what my next project is going to be. Um, I'm probably going to work on it live on stream, to be honest. I, I don't know if I'll use Angular, though. I'm most likely going to use React. Definitely not Vue. Definitely not Vue. Uh, Chenzi, what's up? How are you? I can buy a domain for you. That's, that's awesome, man. I appreciate it, but you don't have to do that. All right, so I just bought the domain. Uh... I just bought the domain. Okay, so let me go over to my dashboard real quick. Okay, so the domain name is called... Uh, the domain name... Uh, hold on, give me one sec. I just want to make sure. Okay, so the domain name is called devquery.io. Okay. So, uh, the domain name is called devquery.io. That's the name of the uh, website. Okay. Now, I want you guys to guess. What do you guys think? I mean, I kind of said this already earlier. Okay. I kind of said this earlier. But what do you guys think this website's going to be for? Like, why do you think I named the devquery.io? I'll let you guys guess. Greetings. Why not Vue? I mean, look. I like Vue. I'm just not good with it right now. So, I, I don't, I don't want to, like, you know. Uh, I mean, I'm currently still learning React. Like, I'm, 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 I've gotten better with React, but I'm getting better at it. Okay. So... There's that. Okay, so I'll let you guys guess. And DevCrumb, don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something cool. So okay, so DevCrumb, to answer your question from earlier, basically what you want to do is you want to set up your your you, you basically have different environments. What, what we call it is we call it environments, right? So when you're like, and this is what you do at a workplace too. What happens is you basically have your local environment, which is where you develop everything locally, right? You you work in the code on your local computer, okay? And then once you're done, once everything's good, once everyone's approved your code, you deploy it to what's called the the dev server the dev server is basically like a test server that everyone gets to use to test to do whatever they want so you can actually sometimes there might be broken code on there so you can you can afford to have broken code on it okay and then after you test everything once you're sure that everything works perfectly on the test server what you do is you you deploy everything onto the production server okay now in some companies they'll have three different servers they'll have a, a like a dev server uh, testing and then they'll have a like a production server so that's three servers right there okay 
So you basically want to do everything locally, and then once you're confident that everything works, you want to make sure that you have everything working on your uh, production server. Now on the production server, it might be a little bit difficult because it's a different environment, and it, for, if, you're, if it's your first time doing it, you're going to be very confused. But learning how to do it is honestly uh, very, very crucial in my opinion. I think it'll definitely teach you a lot of new things. So, okay, I, I'm not looking at chat right now, so I can't see what people are saying. But I'm just, uh, I'm about to look at chat right now. So I can uh, see what you guys said. But hopefully that makes sense, Dev Chrome. Oh, give me one sec. Okay, uh, Jenkins, wait, give me one sec, hold on. Is there some kind of Jenkins for, uh, Jenkins? Not sure, okay. So, to answer your guys' question, okay, so basically, I woke up this morning. Well, I kind of thought about this a couple of, uh, days ago. So, uh, someone on the Discord server, his name is, uh, Fweek. So, he actually told me, well, he told everyone about, uh, this new feature on GitHub. Okay, he told everyone about this new feature on GitHub. And basically, uh, you can have this readme. You have this readme, you can you can create your own portfolio, right? As you can see right over here, I have this readme. Now, how do you get this readme? Well, it's very simple. All you do is you just create a repository that matches your name. So you can see I have a repository that matches my username. And when you do that, if you create a readme, okay, everything you put in this readme will appear on your profile. So you can kind of use this as like, uh, like, a, like a resume, like a biography, kind of like, you know, list all the projects that you're doing. So I had a thought, I was like, hmm, this could actually kind of be very useful. What if we, uh... You know, made something like this that uh, allows people to apply for jobs, right? Now, obviously, you know, normally I don't really share these kind of ideas, but I don't really care. Like, if, if one of you guys want to do it, you know, go for it. I don't really care because I'm not really looking to, you know, making this like a corporation or anything like that. I'm just doing this for fun. But basically, my idea is to allow people to log in with uh, with uh, GitHub, the GitHub API, GitHub OAuth 2. And what it's going to do is it's going to take their README. Okay, if they have a readme, it's going to take it and it's going to use it as like a resume. So if you guys know what a resume is, hopefully most of you guys do. It's basically like a portfolio that showcases your experience, your education, your work, uh, your work experience, obviously. All your projects that you've worked on related to the job, skills, all these types of things. So you could technically put those skills on your readme. Okay, now the point is, is to take that readme and render it to, you know, the, the user interface to the, to the web app, right? And then other people can search you up and they can see, oh, this is this guy's readme. I actually like this guy's uh, portfolio. I actually like this guy's portfolio. Okay. What if I want to hire this guy to do something? What if I want to hire this guy to do something? So if they like the if they like the guy's readme, if they like the guy's biography, then you're like, okay, yo, I want I want to reach out to this guy. Let me let me let me send this guy a mail, and let me uh, let me uh, hire this guy. I want I want to hire this guy. Now, obviously, there could be more stuff done, too. So, for example, I can get all of the repositories, and I can see which repository has, like, the most, uh, like, which repositories that they're more heavily engaged in, or which languages that they prefer mo mostly. So, for example, if you look at my repositories, all of my repositories are, like, TypeScript, JavaScript. So, obviously, on my main overview in the application, it would show, it would say something like, oh, this guy is uh, a type, this guy uh, prefers TypeScript and JavaScript. But, of course, I can list all the other skills that I want. So, the idea is basically to allow you to... Um, to allow you to basically find developers much easier. So I was like, hmm, what should I call this application? Uh, I'm, I'm going to call it findadev.com. I was like, wait a minute, okay, that kind of sounds lame because, you know, findadev.com. So I was like, wait a minute, you know what? Dev query. Query, what does query mean? Query means to search, to look up. Okay, when we want to query stuff, we want to look stuff up like when we're querying a database. So dev query. Okay, dev find. Bam, there we go. And that was... The birth of a new idea so i technically shouldn't be sharing this with anyone because you know it is an idea that i want to make myself but you know i don't really care if you guys want to do it go for it it ain't no competition for me i just do these things for fun and i'm not really looking forward to monetizing these things so you know obviously if i was doing it for money that'd be a different story but i don't really care like i just do these things for fun so i mean look if that if that uh will motivate any of you guys to do something like that go for it man go for it do you not have get dark i don't uh bro i was looking at your you already cs course web script today uh are you talking about the video so that video was like seven was like three years ago and back then i did not know anything about uh web scraping like i just knew how to do it but i didn't know about the legal issues i only recently found out about like legal issues about it if uh 
I, I found about recently like, last year. So that's why I was a little bit cautious about it. But hopefully that idea like sparks some interest in some of you guys. Uh, Superhero Man MC. I'm not sure if you're still here. I'm not sure if you're still here. But to answer your question, uh, you need to basically allow their IP IP address. Do you think TS is going to be used more than JS? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. TS is definitely going to be used more than JS, yes. Can you tell when the advanced JavaScript will come out, please? I haven't completed the JavaScript. Uh, AD, thank you so much for asking. Uh, I actually cannot tell you just yet because I have a lot of things planned. But uh, I will let you know. If you join the server, you'll know 100%. I can't give you an estimate because I haven't thought about it yet, but I will make them soon. Uh, GitHub Jobs. I actually looked at GitHub Jobs. The weird thing was that GitHub Jobs didn't let... Because here's the thing. Look, with GitHub Jobs... You have to you still use resume. I want to make it completely resume less. I want it to just be purely GitHub because look, in the real world, at least in the United States, recruiters, corporate, they always care about resume. Okay, and I look, I've been through the job, uh, recruit, I've been through like the, the job hunt process. I've applied to over 500 jobs before I got the one job that uh, I actually got. Right, and it was a long process. A lot of recruiters will always judge you based off of one little thing on your resume. Like if you just like mess up one little word, they'll throw your resume in the trash can. And honestly, I think for engineers, I think for programmers, I, like personally for me, look, if I want to hire someone, I'm not going to judge them based off of their, uh, like what college they went to, what their GPA was. If you show me your GitHub and if you show me that you have you have the skills to build projects, I'm going to hire you. Like I have no problem with hiring you. And that's, that's the motivation behind this. I want people to be able to showcase their GitHub first instead of their resume. Like no one in the real world, after you get hired, no one really cares so much about, you know, where you went to school obviously don't lie about it but no one's really going to worry so much about it because once you get that job you're going to be doing stuff that the company wants to do you're not going to be you know doing algebra or geometry unless if that job requires you to do it the majority of the time like you're mostly doing like you know software engineering stuff and it could be a lot of different things some are math heavy some are not is it just mere quick db is down uh some people have been having quick db issues uh hein thank you so much man i appreciate it it's because of you guys that i'm able to hit 4.08k but yeah, like like I said, we, we grind. We keep on grinding. Like, we don't stop. We're going to keep grinding every single damn day. Uh, Zev J, welcome back to the stream, man. How are you? You can use GitHub Jobs if you have systems. Yeah, true, true. I might do that. Hey, Anson, how can I restrict something on my website for staff only? Um, well, there are many ways. So, one thing you could do is you can have role-based system only for, like, the website and not reflect it on Discord roles. So, you can set up your own roles. And you can give certain roles to certain users on that are logged into your website. And you would always check to see before when you make the, when you load up a page, you would always check to see if the user has a certain role. And if they do, then you'll allow them access to the page. I ho hopefully that makes sense. Uh, yeah, HRs. It's it's a very difficult process, you know. So for any of you guys out there that are applying for jobs, man, I wish you the best of luck. It's a tough process, and I know what it's like because I've been through it. And I can't imagine how much harder it could be during times like these. But um, I know you guys are gonna get through it. No matter what, you just got to keep, you know, grinding, keep doing what you got to do and, you know, don't give up. Uh, yo, Sanat, what's up? How are you? One more question. How would I implement MySQL in the React app? Like, is there doctor? Uh, so the MySQL part would be implemented with your backend. So probably Express or Nest, whichever one you're using. Uh, basically, you just make the connection to, you make the connection to the database from the backend. And you would do all the queries on the back end, all the transactions, all the queries on the back end. And then the client, the React app, would directly interact with your back end. And then the back end would interact with the database. Hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Yo, what the hell? Chaotic. I just realized this. Yo, Chaotic, thank you so much for boosting the server, man. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it, dude. Oh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I told you guys this. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys this. Um, I, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I mentioned this like about two streams ago. But I've been wanting to do something for my for my server boosters for a very long time. And I, I like look, I, I've had I've had server boosters, and I kind of felt bad because I wasn't really you know doing much for them. And so I wanted to do something for them. 
and this is the least that I can do. And basically what I'm doing is uh, with server boosters, I want to give them the opportunity, like if they're working on a Discord bot, I want to give them the opportunity to, I want to help promote their bot basically. So if you're a server booster, what I will do is I'm going to make a bot that will showcase your bot to everyone on the server. There's going to be a web page so everyone can see it. On videos, I'm always going to announce it for like the first 10 seconds. So it's basically just a way for me to help people out. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to work on the application live on stream. I don't know when I'm going to do it. I might have a schedule. So yeah, I don't know, man. Um... There was this one guy that joined the server and just boosted immediately. I, th I thought that was kind of weird. I mean, I was I was thankful about it, but it, I was, uh, it was I thought it was kind of weird. If you're watching the stream, I appreciate you for boosting. Uh, yo, freak, what's up? I was just talking. I was just talking about you earlier. What am I working on today? Uh, I'm working on some React dashboard. I'm kind of just chatting to be honest with you. I'm kind of just talking about all of my plans. But I'm, I'm basically what I was talking about was uh, you were telling me about this readme thing, and I actually have a really good idea with it. And what I'm going to do, actually, I just bought a domain name right now. And I'm going to be working on this project. Uh, I don't know when. But, I, guys, I have so many projects. Like, I have so many projects. Like, I'm booked. Like, I'm working on, like, four to five different projects at the same time. You know, uh, well, I mean, I would say the codering project is kind of, like, done done. But it's not fully done. Like, there are still things that I want to maintain. But I'm ready to start a new project. Like, the dashboard is pretty much done. The, uh, the authorization bot that we worked on two weeks ago was, is done. Um, we're, we're working on a lot of stuff. We're making lots of moves. But, uh, yeah, so Freak, basically what I was saying was, I bought a new domain, it's called devquery.io, and the goal of it is to allow people to find developers. I know a lot of people always come on the server and they always look for developers, okay? And I, and I know on our server we don't allow promotion or bribery, but I know with this website it's going to make it easy for people to find developers. So basically people are able to log in with GitHub, they can post their profile, they can publish it to the public, and then other people will be able to browse it, okay? And then they can look, it's basically going to take this readme, and you can treat the readme like a resume. And it's going to take that readme and it's going to basically parse it to HTML. Okay. And uh, it's basically going to show it in HTML. And it'll basically show it the way it is. And then people see, yo, this guy has a sick portfolio. Let me reach out to him. So, bam, you click on a button. I want to I, I hire this guy. Bam, you find a developer easy. So, I, that's a project that I'm going to be working on on stream. So, yeah, I have the domain name for it right now. So, it's going to be it's gonna be lit. Uh, yo, if you guys are on Discord right now, yo, everyone at Chaotic, tell him thank you so much for boosting the server. Really appreciate it. Everyone just at Chaotic. I want you to just at Chaotic and just thank him for boosting server. Thank him for donating because I really appreciate it. All donations, look, guys, all donations that I always receive, they always go to events. They always go to giveaways. So I just want you guys to know that. And plus, most of the time I do use, like, you know, my own, my own money out of the way, but... You know, it is what it is, you know, like if people are willing to donate, I appreciate that a lot. And I'm, and I'm always going to use that to better the quality of streams, better the work, and just keep going. We're going to keep doing more events. We're going to keep doing more giveaways. And like I said, we're doing a giveaway uh, for the, we're doing like a Discord Nitro giveaway. Uh, I'm going to announce, like, I'm going to announce the winner or winners next week. Really depends on which, you know, suggestions I, I like, really. You know, but yeah. I'm working, I'm also working on many different projects. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I'm, like, working on so many. How can I learn Python fast? Um, honestly, I can't really answer that. I mean, look, if you know a, pro if you know a language already, it shouldn't be super hard to, to learn a different language because languages are, like, very similar in terms of, like, uh, like you know, concepts. The syntax is just the only thing that's different, okay? So it's not really that hard to learn, like, Python if you already know a language already. What's the best DB? I've tried MongoDB, SQLite, I have no luck, none of them seem to work. Um, there really is no best DB, okay? It really just depends on your project. Uh, in terms of it didn't work, I can't really answer why it didn't work. But I mean, look, I, I would, like, I'm sure the people on the server, I, look, I don't know if you're on the server right now. But I'm sure if you go on the server and if you ask your question, people would be willing to help you out. Like, if you post your question, if you post your error, there are people who would be willing to help you out. So if you, if you try that out, I'm sure we can help you to get it to work. So, there's always a solution to it. Okay, which DB is easy to use? MongoDB, 100%. Well, SQLite, but SQLite is... I would not recommend it. I, I would say for beginner SQLite, but then after that, you should go into MongoDB or MySQL. They're both fairly easy, in my opinion. Well, actually, MongoDB is easier because you have to worry about the tables and schemas and stuff. Oh, I want that refining one of my college server. Hey, that's good, man. How would you parse the readme after fetch? Okay, so let me show you guys something. Okay, let me use uh, let me use a couple examples. So, 
I actually don't have. Just hold on, let me get this. Uh, how to get read me from GitHub? Repo. I was googling this early, and I was actually using a. How to get read me from? God damn it, I forgot what the URLs. Oh god. It's that I know there's a URL that just fuck, I forgot what it was. It was a raw URL. I I, I don't know what the URL is. I gotta I gotta get it. I think I think I can find it. No, I can't. Hold on. Uh, no, I, I don't know how to get it. Damn, I was looking this up earlier. But it shouldn't be hard, because all you got to do is just take the HTML code, and then just basically inject it into the app. I don't know if that will have vulnerabilities. I hope it doesn't. But it could be pretty vulnerable, I think. Can you add SVGs? I think you can. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure, but you can try and see what happens. For Discord level bot, will MongoDB, uh, I can't really answer that. I've never used it like that before, but you would have to really uh, look at like the amount of RAM that your server is using. For Mongo, or amount of RAM that MongoDB is using up in your server. And you only you can really tell. I can't really tell you because it really depends on like what your server is using, like what your bot is using up. But yeah, I don't know. I would say try it out and see what happens. You, can all, you should always be able to resize anyways, so you can try it out. What are you doing? We're right now we're just chatting, you know, we're playing around with our Discord dashboard. Um Yeah, we're just kinda like chatting right now to be honest with you guys. Uh I'm going mad from React. Why? What's wrong with React? What, what are you going mad about? What if someone adds a script tag or something? Yeah, that's that's the problem. That's the one problem that I think Damn, that's the that's the one problem that I'm that I'm thinking is gonna be an issue is that uh Yeah, I think that might be the one biggest issue. Is that someone could add like a script tag and it could inject really bad code. Damn it. I just thought about it right now. Damn. Like, I, I knew something like that would have been, would be actually, I, I was thinking about this earlier. I just wasn't entirely sure. But now that I think about it, I was like, yeah, that's actually pretty bad. Well, here's the thing. I don't know if, uh, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could kind of like, uh, I guess I could kind of, you know, remove it, but I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, Rex Grawl, what's up? How are you, man? Do you know how I can make a post request to GitHub? Well, I mean, it depends on what you want to do. Like, there's a lot of different post requests you can make to GitHub API. It depends on what you want to do. I can try to link you some documentation. You should implement movable widgets. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be pretty sick. That would be pretty sick. I just want to edit a JSON file. Oh, so you want to edit a file on GitHub. I see, I see. Uh, I can't answer that right off the top of my head because I would have to look at the documentation. So I can't really... Uh like answer right away but i do know that if you want to edit a file there should be a there should be some let me see github uh, edit file api let me see if i can find something for you editing a file there should be something on the on the api that you can f that you can find i think you need to hit the uh the contents yeah let me let me link this to you you let me know you play around with this and you let me know if it works out for you god damn it i was actually so excited for that application too you know, maybe I'll just get rid of. Maybe I'll just ignore the README then. Maybe I'll ignore the README. Maybe I'll just make it so that it'll only show the GitHub stats. Maybe, I mean, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I don't know. I think it'll still be a good app. Like I think maybe I think I, I mean, what do you guys think? I think it'll still be a good app, right? I think it'll still be a good app even without the README. Like I think maybe I can just get their, you know, their uh, the total repositories. Maybe I can let them edit. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Did I get a new keyboard? Uh, you know what? I was actually thinking about doing a keyboard cam. What do you guys think? Should I do a keyboard cam? I thought I thought that would be weird, but I, I guess I can show you guys my keyboard real quick. Should I show my keyboard? You guys want to see my keyboard? Get it requires that case you have to send a pull request. Yeah, you do. You guys want to see my keyboard? Okay. Uh, let me let me see. Hopefully, uh, I don't mess this up. Let's uh, do video capture device. Okay, can you guys see that? The uh, the webcam is a little bit messed up right now, but that's my keyboard over here. Let me move this over here. Let me uh, see if I can angle a little bit so we can. Uh... 
it's kind of bad. It's a nice keyboard. I like it. It's a Ducky One Too Mini. Ducky One Too Mini. It's pretty. Oh shoot. Let me uh, move it up a little bit. It's a Ducky One Too Mini. It's a pretty awesome keyboard. I like it. I like it. It's a it's a freaking awesome keyboard. I got it. I got it like about uh how long ago? Like a year ago. Best keyboard I've ever had. The only thing I hate about it is it doesn't have arrow keys, but that's my fault for buying it. It's a six pin keyboard. I like it. I like it. More FPS. RGB, better programmer, game player. Yeah, that's facts. I don't really like the RGB. I'm not really an RGB guy. Uh, it's red switches. They're red switches. Red switches. There should be a way to make it. Yeah, you could probably remove the script, but I don't know. Like, I think maybe I'll probably find a library that automatically removes script tags. There should be a way. I'm pretty sure there should be some kind of library that, uh, let's see, uh, npm library remove JavaScript. There should, there definitely needs to be a way to remove JavaScript, but yeah, I know that would be the, that would be the biggest vulnerability for uh, the website is basically, you know, uh, <laughs> that'd be the base, that'd be the biggest vulnerability, but I mean, screw it. I bought the domain already. I don't care. Like I bought already. I'm not going to bother refunding it. You know, I'll use it for a tutorial. I'll show you guys how to do, you know what? Screw it. You know, that's the reason why I bought the domain in the first place. Not to make this application, but to show you guys how to hook up a domain with your uh, with your website. How to use subdomains. Yo, we're going to have a lot of fun. Tag replace. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to look into it. You know, I used to actually have a Razer. Uh, I think it was a Razer Black Widow keyboard 2016 edition. I loved it so much. It was my... I really loved the keyboard, man. Like, I, I, I'm actually pissed that I sold it to my friend. It was an amazing keyboard that I loved. And I can't believe I sold it, you know. Like, I actually really missed that keyboard a lot. Sanitizing HTML input is so confusing sometimes. Oh, the new Black Widow. Wait, what is the new Black Widow? New Black Widow. Keyboard. Razor. I know there was a new keyboard. There was a 60% keyboard they came out with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keyboard cam, that's right. People, these guys got, these guys love the keyboard cam. What did I use to get rid of the keyboard sound? I mean, I didn't really get rid of the keyboard sound. Uh, I kind of just lowered my mic. Like, look, let me, let me increase my mic right now, and let me move my, let me move my keyboard closer to my mic, and, like, I mean, I'm not even, like, I'm not typing right now, like, I'm not typing, like, if you guys want to hear me type, like, if you guys like hearing me type, then I can go ahead and type, you know, uh, let me, let me do a type racer real quick, or a type test, so you show you guys my typing skills, and you'll notice that whenever I type, I only type with, uh, two fingers, let's do a simple typing test real quick, let's do, uh, a three minute, let's do sentences, all right, ready? Ergo, Ergo Docs keyboard one. I don't know what an Ergo Docs keyboard is. Uh, let's see. Are you ready? Typing test. All right. Let's see. Uh, a universal translator is a difficult undertaking. I'm pretty nervous right now. Outrageous hotels. Never say never. I kind of messed that up. Was the last thing that he said. They go to see his show every year. Try to make some changes in your life. Irish horses coat glitter after the dark clouds clear. They would go to many places if they had the time. The hat is brown. The jacket is red. Like, yeah, I'm only typing with, like, two fingers, like, mostly. Like, I'm, I'm using, like, my thumb for, like, the spacebar and stuff. And, like, my shift key. But, I mean, most of the time I'm just typing with, like, two fingers. Some people type with, like, their whole hand. I don't know how people do that. Like, that's just too slow for me. Ron loves... Loves pumpkin soup. I want to make sure I have good accuracy, too, you know? And I think typing with, uh, sentences... Typing, like, sentences is so much different than typing words. Because sentences, you have to actually, like, you know... There's punctuation. There's, uh... Uh... You know, ex different types of, uh... Capitalization. So, yeah. I'm kind of, like, doing so bad right now. This is, uh, making a lot of mistakes. Jeez, in his salad. I'm not reading chat, by the way. I can't read chat, because I'm looking at my other monitor right now. 
the window pane fell out. Eddie was shocked to find the house full of smoke. I got her a galactic gadget as a gift. Yeah, man, this is actually really slow for me. Normally, I'm like around like 120-ish. Yeah, this song is good though. I like the song. I messed this one up. Oh, okay, there we go. We're done. Damn, damn, that was uh, that that was pretty slow for me. Twenty f accuracy. That's pretty bad accuracy. Normally my accuracy is around like ninety-eight ish or something. I don't know. Twenty-five errors. That was uh, that was pretty slow in my opinion. The sound while you're typing. What's the sound like? I know it's like pretty uh. Small hands and big keyboard. Godly typing speed. Small fingers. Bro, you can type faster than me. I mean, I think it takes practice. Well, I mean, it's not really a practice. Is this a Nintendo Switch? Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Can you guys see that? It's my Nintendo Switch. I don't really play it that much. I don't really play it that much. It's just kind of like sitting there in the dust. Like, I have a bunch of games for it, but I just, like, never play. Because I just get so bored of it. Got I've gotten bored of it for a while. Like, I have... I bought Animal Crossing and played, like, a little bit. But yeah, I mean, I got I got bored with that. Sounds like someone beatboxing after inhaling helium, dude. I can't even imagine what the sound is like, especially with the air conditioner. The air conditioner is just like ridiculous. A type racer tournament new event in 2021. Actually, uh, I I don't want to say too much about that, but I I will just say this. Uh, one of my mods is actually working on something like that. So, you know, I, that's all I'm saying, you know, I don't want to say too much. But one of my mods is working on that. A friend of mine used to use Discord as a DB and he made a private service, private channel. Discord as a DB. Huh. That's, uh, oh, he probably like, stored everything in a channel or something in Reddit. That's, uh, that's kind of questionable, but okay. Uh, as long as it works out for him. <laughs> Funny how in high school you have to take a computer class teaches you fundamentals of typing at a professional level. Uh, did I take a computer? Yes, I did. I took a graphic art class in high school. But even before I took that class, I kind of already knew what to do. Because, like, it was just, like, a very basic one. And I've already used Photoshop and GIMP before. You need to place the camera at the opposite direction. Yeah, I know. It's, it's upside down right now. I need to get a bigger... I need to get a better camera. I need to get a better camera. I need to get a better camera. Like, I don't... Like, right now, I'm using a webcam right now. I'm using a webcam camera right now, and uh... Just turn it in OBS. You could try mounting the camera on the microphone. Uh, this is my microphone right now. I don't know if you guys can see, this is my microphone. This is uh, a blue Yeti. A blue Yeti right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it's a blue Yeti microphone, this is the uh... The legendary microphone that has changed my voice like 500 different times. This microphone has, like, every, if you watch my video from 2018, I've had the same exact mic. But yet somehow the microphone just, just happens to sound so much different for some reason. I mean, honestly, I don't really like the Blue Yeti. I'm going to probably get like a Samson uh, or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beast out my, uh, my, my, uh, my setup and maybe like the next month or so. Oh, but I want to see this channel booming in the coming days with such an expert behind the camera. Hey, man. Whenever it happens, I won't forget any of you guys. If I ever, you have my word, if I ever 
hit like let's say a hundred thousand subscribers i will remember i'll i'll you get you best believe i will not forget any of your guys name for real back when how to get your bot read messages days i mean that microphone was just my hyper x microphone like i have a, I have a hyper x uh, headset right now and it has like that built-in microphone that i use and yeah that microphone is just complete trash man and like yeah my name is calculus don't forget all right i won't i won't forget I'll literally take a screenshot of all your names. Or I'll just I'll just like take a screenshot of all your names and I'll remember. Don't worry. How can I forget, you know? Or my nickname rather. Yo, calculus is nice though, not gonna lie. My name is Epic Gamer Chaotic. Chaotic. Haha, ha, now 91 WPM lol. You'll never forget my name. Nah, I won't forget your name. You guys are always here on the stream, so... Imagine how hard being a teacher is remembering over 100 students' names. Uh, well, so here's the thing. I was a TA, which is not really a teacher, but I was like a TA. And I, I TA'd a class for over 300 students. And uh, I, didn't, I, I, I didn't remember everyone's name, but I did remember a handful of people's names. I would say, I, I probably remember a decent amount. I would say probably around like 50 to 60. But it wasn't kind of like, they, were, they weren't like strange, you know? Because like, if you see someone often, they slowly, they're still like an acquaintance, but you start, you, you slowly like, you know, start to remember their name because you recognize their face, you know? Ellie is easy, yeah, Ellie is easy. So how do I start for a coding career? And what was your journey and how long have you been coding? I've been coding for four years. Uh, I started out in college. Um, and after I graduated from college, I, uh, went to grad school for one semester, but during the, during that time, I was working on side projects, like, if you look at my GitHub, let me show you my GitHub, like, I, like, I'm not trying to flex or anything like that, but I'm just saying, if you work on side projects, if you do things that you enjoy doing, you know, people are gonna hire you, the whole point is to show recruiters and show people that you love doing this stuff, and if they see that in you, they're gonna hire you without a doubt. So it, it's, it took me, like I said, I, I've said this already, it, it took me 500 job applications before I got the job, before I got one job. So for other people, it could have taken a thousand. But the important part was, was that even though there were times where I felt like, you know, I was just not going to get a job, I just continued applying. Like I would wake up every single day, I would make my coffee, I would work on, you know, some projects in the meantime, and I would just, you know, apply to like 50 jobs. Like, I would literally play Overwatch and apply for jobs at the same time. You know, so that's just how it is. Yeah, I currently just use GitHub for some projects. I mean, look, if you guys are doing coding right now at a young age, you guys are already ahead of a lot of people. You know, so that's just my opinion. You got the same keyboard as me. I have brown switches. I have, yeah, I have red switches. I like brown switches though, like brown, red, blue, green. I don't like black. Black black switches are too heavy. Yeah, GitHub is good for a heat map and Stack Overflow gives a good impression. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say Stack. I mean, no one really asked for Stack Overflow, but you could put it on there. How 50 a day and while playing a game? I don't know, man. Like, I would just play the game and I will just apply to jobs simultaneously. I multitask, man. Started at 14, loving programming, yeah. By your time steps in some videos and, and live, I've noticed that you are from Canada. And how do you do things? Canada? Oh no, I'm not from Canada. I'm from uh, I'm from New York. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a New Yorkian. By your, uh, do you prefer being called Sty or Anson? I don't really I don't really care. Some people call me Sty. Some people call me Arizona. Some people call me uh, Anson. Some people call me uh, I don't know. I don't really I don't really care. I, ha I have a bunch of I change my name like every single day, <laughs> and people just call me whatever they see on my Discord name. Like I had my name. My name was USA the other day, and someone, uh, someone said thank you USA for helping me. 
I was like, no problem, man. No problem. I hit enter by accident, but you get it. Uh, hit enter what? Canada new name, nah. Uh, he's probably thinking that you record at early time because you wake up. Nah, I mean, I yeah, I record at uh, four, I usually record at like four to four to like four to like seven a.m. ish. Oh uh, yeah, my name, my actual name is Anson. So the reason why I changed my name uh, was for personal reasons. But then I got, but then everything was okay now after that. So I changed it back to Anson. So I want to stay with Anson, but I'm okay with both. You know what I mean? But growing, like going up in the future, like I want to, I want to just, I'm going to stick with this name. Like this is going to be the name. Originally, my name was Anson, but it was just so vague. You know, it, it was just so vague. So like if I typed in Anson on the search bar, like you would not see any of my channel, you would not see any of my videos pop up. So I was like, all right, you know what? Let me just change the Anson to developer. Why not? Screw it. You know, and uh, people started calling me that, and I actually like the name of it now. I actually like how it sounds. You know, it's pretty sick, and I, li I like it. But yeah, my actual name is Anson, but you can call me... Um, Stai is my nickname. Now, a lot of people mispronounce it, and a lot of people mispronounce uh, it. They pronounce it as Stewie, or uh, Stoy, but that's not how you pronounce it. If, you, if you're from New York, you'll definitely know how to pronounce it 100%. If you're Dutch, you should definitely know how to pronounce it 100%. Because uh, it is, it's a Dutch name. It's a, it's, a, it's a name originated from Dutch. Okay? But the way to pronounce it is Stai. I call people to introduce them. Yeah, that's pretty much me. I don't really call people by their nicknames. What motivates you in the morning when you wake up? Is it finishing a project, sharing a progress with us? Uh, T. One word. T. Getting up, brushing my teeth, boiling the hot water, and just making some tea. That's what gets me up. I'm being 100% serious. Like, I need my tea. Or, or, or coffee, you know, I, I'm, I'm okay with both, you know. Plot twist. Canada changes real name every time you change the Discord name. Oh my bad. When I convert the time you live in the country time zone, yeah, most of matches. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's close enough. Like Toronto, Canada. I, I, I understand. I, I, I figured that's what it was. But yeah, like, uh, yeah. I mean, we're in the same time zone, like Canada and uh, I mean Toronto and ourselves. Nah, but on a real note, like, what actually motivates me in the morning is, I don't know, man. Like tea, like you know, just tea is definitely one of the biggest things because I, I love tea. I'm a huge uh, tea drinker, tea sipper. And I just love, and like just getting up just to make tea, just to drink it, is enough for me to just, like if you tell me that there's tea, I'll literally get up and drink it. Like I'll literally wake out of bed just to go drink tea. But when I get on, when I get on my computer, I'm like, okay, yo, I got, I got, I got to work my channel. Like, you know, like I'm always looking at the analytics. I'm always looking at the, the numbers going up. And I use that as a way to motivate myself. Like, you know, I, I tell my friends all the time, like, like every single time. I make videos. I always, I always want to make the next video better than the, the previous one. And that's not always going to be the case. It's subjective view. But, you know, I can always try. You know? But there's a lot of things that really motivate me. You know, the idea of just being able to just wake up and do whatever the hell you want to do. The idea is to just wake up and just have a have a clear mind of what you want to do right before work. Like I get five hours before I actually need to work when I wake up. And I love it. You know, I, I absolutely love it. Is it pure green tea? Uh it's actually foreign tea. It's tea that I got from it's tea that my parents got from uh their country. It's actually really good, not gonna lie. It's actually really good. Better than the tea that I've like better than the uh like the tea that I've drank. Why do you want me to buy coffee and not tea then? Uh, what do you mean? I don't want you to not buy coffee or not tea. Well, here's the thing. So I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a addicted to coffee. And I recently decided to quit coffee. The reason why is because I think coffee is uh, a little bit worse than tea. I think tea is a lot better and more healthier. Um, so I decided, you know what, let me, I'm just going to get rid of tea. I mean, coffee, and I'm going to switch it to tea. And I think that was probably, like, the best decision ever, because I actually really like tea. Can't wait to work in. I've never heard anyone want to say that.
more healthier says yeah i mean i think it's i think it's true like i think it's true have you ever thought of playing around with unity 3d i have but i'm not really so great with unity at least not yet i've never really made an attempt to learn it so why i gotta get coffee i mean i still drink it like look before i was drinking like two three cups of coffee a day I mean, now I drink like zero a day and I only drink tea, which is a good way to quit coffee, I guess. I still drink coffee here and there, but maybe like once a week or twice a week, maybe. I don't know. All right, see ya, freak. Is there going to be a repo for the dashboard? Uh, No, maybe. Yes, most likely there will be. I'm not done with it yet. I love tea, but I don't feel like tea, if you know what I mean. Why do I over- Why do I tend to over-engineer? GraphQL for dashboard do be like that. You think GraphQL is over-engineering? I've been following along and I've added some different songs. That's good. That's good. That's I'm glad. Like I'm glad that you're doing that. Like you're learning. You're le that's that's what you should be doing. You shouldn't be copying. You should be doing what you're doing. That's good. What are your thoughts on the new Discord API version? Uh, I actually have not heard about that. Is there like a link that you can send me on Discord so I can take a look at it? I haven't not heard about that. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I guess it really depends. When do you start with the code ring Discord bot? We've already started already, actually. Like, it actually connects with the Discord bot. It works well. So, the one thing that I do need to do, though, is I do need to actually uh, make it so that when I submit, it's going to make a, it's going to make a query to the database or the query to the back end. And it's gonna update the. Uh, it's gonna update the. Uh, what's it called? It's gonna update the uh, the fields in the database. That's what we have to do. So I think we'll probably do that maybe right over here. I think because I think this is where I was making. I don't think I've made like an actual mutation query yet, but it shouldn't be too hard though, because I actually already have the mutation set up. Like I actually set up the mutation on the. Uh, where is it? It was on the back end, I think. Yeah, it was on the back end. Let me show you guys. Uh, mutation, mutation, yeah, right over here. So this mutation will update the guild prefix. So if I throw it into Postman, uh, you know what? Let me show you guys this real quick. Can I have a link for your server? Uh, Roman Beard, the link to our Discord server is in the description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel free to check it out. Feel free to check it out. A way to hide certain HTTP API requests from being showcased as. Uh, that's. I don't think that's honestly. I don't think that's possible, to be honest with you. Because anyone can just open up the network tab and they can just view it. The only. The real workaround is to making an API call to an endpoint and then making that. Making, a, making another API call on the back end. That's the only way you can hide it. But then. If you, people can easily figure out like what it's doing, I guess. Has a friend ever told you something that keeps you up all the time? Like no matter what you do, no one will remember you. I mean, I don't have I I don't have a friend that has said that before, but I mean, I hope I don't. That seems like a pretty dark statement to say. So the whole point the whole point is to how do I how do I put it this way? Actually, I, I, I kind of don't want to say it because I don't really know exactly what it is I want to say. And I kind of, I want to make sure that I uh, have like a full, I have it fully thought on. So the thing is, is to not basically, 
you know, how do I say it this way? So here's the thing, like the way I view it, right? The way I view it is, you know, for me, per me personally, I'm speaking on my behalf, right? You know, the purpose of life for me is to, there's a lot of things in life that I want to accomplish, right? You know, one of the things I want to accomplish is starting up my own company, my like my own uh, my own company one day. And what kind of company that would be, I have no idea. But I definitely want to start my own company someday in the future. Uh, I want to definitely, you know, there's a lot of things I want to accomplish in life. But I think the one thing that I that I live for is, you know, obviously we're we're not we're not going to live forever, right? We're not we're not going to live for the rest of our lives. But I think the whole point, at least for me, I would say, is to, you know, live a life to create something that will last forever. You know, there are people, you know, back in the day who, you know, lived and did a really, you know, did a lot of research and did a lot of cool stuff. And those ideologies and those things are still being, you know, uh, pursued today. You know, for example, uh, Isaac Newton discovered calculus. You know, without him, we probably would have never had calculus in the first place. We probably wouldn't have, like, you know, engineering. We probably wouldn't have a lot of things. Or maybe we would, but just maybe in a different perspective, you know? So, the way I view it is to, you know, just live life to the fullest. And just enjoy it, you know? Find a purpose to live for. And just make something that will last for an eternity. That's all I gotta say. That's how I really have to, That's really all I'll say. Make something that will last an eternity. Because we're not, we're not going to live... We're not going to live forever, but your legacy can live forever. Do you have the developer badge? I applied for the badge. Uh, I don't, and I don't think I have any, uh, I don't think I have any, uh, intention on getting the developer badge. Everything is possible until you prove it wrong. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I actually didn't make that statement up. Someone else said it. But I thought it was very true. Like, it's true. Like, anything is possible until you prove that it's wrong. And if you can't prove that it's... Uh, if you can't prove that it's impossible, then you can't say that it's impossible. Like, people said that it was impossible to go to Mars or impossible to go to space. Well, look what happened. People have went to space. People probably said it's impossible to go to the moon. People went to the moon. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, that's just how I that's just how I view it. Everyone has different views, but that's just my view. Uh, why couldn't you join the server? Did you get banned? Did you get banned for being toxic? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you should have been able to. Well, here's the thing: you have to click on the link. Click on the link, and it should work. I mean, look, it's true. Look. I can sit around all day and complain and say, oh my god, this is hard, this is impossible, but, you know, it's not impossible because, you know, someone out there did it already, you know, someone out there did it already, they proved the impossible, which basically meant that it's possible. So, yeah, that's all I, oh, wait, I think I found, no, I didn't, god damn it, alright, whatever, I'll, I'll work, I'll worry about it later, okay, let me show you guys something real quick. Okay, so the nice thing about uh, the nice thing about uh, Postman is that you can actually enter a GraphQL query, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so look right over here. Uh, hopefully, okay. So look, I'm basically entering a query right now, and watch this. So right now, I'm gonna update the prefix from Postman. So right now, the prefix is question mark. I'm gonna update it to exclamation mark. Okay, now let me actually start up my bot real quick. We really enjoy these life's lessons. Yeah, man. That's all. That's what it's all about. When you type the localhost thing, my compass is in localhost. So it's a long chart. Uh, I can't really... Uh, I'm not really sure what the error is. You'll have to provide more context for it. Okay, so let me see if I can go into my server. Okay, see, look. I just updated the prefix. Watch. I'm going to update it again. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. Okay, I'm going to change it to dollar sign now because we're money team. We're all money team. 
Okay, now if I do test again, look, it's not going to work. Oh, wait, it did work. Oh, you know why? You know why? The reason why is because, uh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think something got messed up. Uh, seems like we have an error. Message to get the prefix on function. Oh, that might that may have been why. Let me try restarting this again. Should have updated though. Not sure why, but should have updated it. Uh, that's questionable. So apparently it did not update the database. So god damn it. I gotta figure out what the bug is. I, I, I think I know what it is, but I gotta figure it out. Oh my god, how can it work with that keyboard animation? Uh, I mean, I don't look at my keyboard. I just, I'm literally looking at my screen right now. And uh, yeah, I mean, I would show you my desk, but it's kind of a mess right now. I, like, I just got like freaking laptops everywhere. It's a huge mess right now. But it doesn't, it doesn't really distract me though, like the animation doesn't really distract me. Okay, we have an issue. Okay, I think I might know what the issue is. It's likely, uh, huh. I think, yeah, I think I might know what it is. Uh, yeah. Let me open up Compass real quick. Yo, thanks for your opinion on my friend. Sad help. I mean, look, man, you just got to surround yourself with inspirational people. You know, there's always people in life that want to bring you down. I, I was around people who always were very negative. They were very pessimistic about everything. Like, you would just do something nice and they would just, you know, belittle you about it. I hate it. I hate people like that. Like, I hate people who are elitist and are negative and they don't provide any, you know, help whatsoever. Like, these are the people that want to bring you down. These are the people that want to see the economy go down. These are the people who just don't care about anything else. And I'm just not that type of person. You know, my job is to bring positive vibes and positive vibes only. And if I'm if I'm not doing that in life, then I'm not doing my job correctly. You know, I'm j I just can't see myself being that guy that just is always negative. You know, even 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 when even if I ever run into a situation where I do feel a little bit frustrated about over something or someone, I just can't see myself you know bashing someone or like being negative in in a type of way. You know what I mean? Like I'm just not th that type of person. So it is updating the prefix, but apparently we're getting an error. I don't know what the error. I don't really don't know what the error is. Um. Oh, you know what it is? We're in the wrong server. Silly me. We're in the wrong goddamn server. We are in the wrong goddamn server. There we go. I didn't even think about that. Well, yes, but it's glowing like crazy. It'll kill me. I have a K70. Yeah, let me see if I could uh, turn it off. I honestly don't even know my keys. I don't know my keys, to be honest with you. I'm not going to bother. <laughs> I have the Razer or not a Chroma. Razer keyboards are nice. I've reached my goal of having my bot in a, 100 servers and 10,000 members. Wow. Yo, congratulations, man. Yo, what happened? Why did you start seeing some good stuff from coding? Yo, change to this. Hello, I won't say I don't like it. It's just some good stuff. I don't know, man. I'm just, uh, I don't know. I can't really answer entirely, but, you know, it is, it is what it is. No, nah, but I'll, I'll be honest. Look, I got—I have bad days. I think everyone has bad days. Look, I—I've I, had bad days too myself. You know, those are those are those days happen when everything is behind closed doors and no one sees what happens. You know, like some days I just feel super down. You know, and even even with coding too, even with going out for a walk or just you know doing something fun, that doesn't really cheer me up. But you know, that's gonna happen. You know, you go to sleep, you wake up the next day, and you don't let what happened the day before, tre uh, you know, roll over to the next day. You know? Am I okay? Yeah, I'm. I'm fine. Guys, don't worry. I'm. Not, I'm not. I'm not like you know. Uh, I'm not drunk or anything like that. I don't drink and I don't smoke either. I'm completely sober. Okay, I'm completely 100% sober. Chatting with Anson coming to Netflix. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have my own talk show someday. I'd recommend a Corsair. You know, I actually did have a Corsair 70, I think. I actually think I did have it. It was a, it was a Cherry MX Red keyboard, and I actually really loved it. But I returned it to Best Buy because I, uh, I needed the money back, so I returned it back to them. 
Can you help me promote my bot? It's in 33 servers. 75 I'm working on. Uh, I mean, let me, I don't know. Like, so here's the thing. That's kind of an awkward question to ask me because, like, you know, it's kind of an awkward question to ask someone to promote your bot for you. Um, here's what I'll say. I did mention this earlier, and uh, I, did, I did tell this to other people. Uh, I'm basically working on a, on a program right now where if you're a server booster or if you're a patron, uh, I will help you out. Like, I will literally help you out with, uh, like, your Discord bot if you, if you want a shout out on your YouTube channel. If you want, like, you know, you don't have to. But if you want me to help you with your bot, if you want me to, you know, give you a shout out on something, you can, you know, join my patron and I'll be more than happy to do that. The reason why I'm saying that is because if I help one person out, then I'm, everyone's going to be like, oh my god, you help this guy, why, why, why aren't you helping me out, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, like I said, I would be more than, like, if I could, I would help every single person out. But there's just so many people out there that you can't, you can't please everyone, you know what I mean? You can't please every single person every single person but look if you're if you are a server booster if you're a patron i'll be more than happy to help you out like i said earlier that with my current server boosters you know shout out to all of them i'm gonna do what i can to help them because you know they've done a lot for the server just by boosting it like it means a lot when people boost the server it means a lot when people uh donate to the patron it means a lot when people donate to the stream like i'm not saying donate to me it's donating to the stream because everything that go every donation that i receive is always going to go to the stream it's always going to go to the server the community the youtube channel everything like, I'm using the money basically to fund, like, these giveaways, to fund the Minecraft server, to fund all these applications, these streams, everything. Like, I'm not using it for myself. Like, don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? So, the least that I can do for my server boosters is to help them out. Uh, we can't make a self-promotion channel because a lot of people will abuse it. So, that's the reason why we've never made a self-promotional channel. But, I think what, the, I think, I think what I'm going to do with the latest uh, stuff that I'm going to roll out, I think that's going to be... Uh, I think I might actually, I don't know. I mean, I might make my own application. Like, there's a there's a website called uh, Discord Botlist, I think. There's a website called Discord Botlist, or uh, I don't know, I think top.gg. I might make my own, but only for people that are in our server. And maybe I'll maybe I'll do something where uh, people who are boosters will have their bot all the way on the top. And then people who are on the server, they can also have their bot there too. So at least everyone benefits from it and not just boosters. I think that would be much more fair. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about that? Yeah, you guys don't have to boost. You guys don't have to boost, but if you want to, you can. If you guys want to, you can. By the way, I am going to boost the server tomorrow afternoon. Yo, man, if if you do or not, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But I, like I said, the, the whole bot promotion thing right now, it's going to happen, but I can't tell you when it's going to happen because I'm going to, I have to work on the app first. But I will, I'm working on it right now. So I can, I can definitely tell you that it will happen soon. But yeah, man, look, like I said, Donations, they're never required. I will never ask you guys to donate. I'm never going to force you guys to donate. You guys do it if you want to. If you guys want to, you guys do it. If you guys don't want to, that's also fine. Like, you guys are more than welcome to watching the stream for free. Like, you know, just me chatting with people, me coding, you know, teaching people new things. That is, like, the best thing ever. You know, the reason why I started a YouTube channel was not for views, was not for money. It was literally just because I wanted to have something to look back at. And also, other people who... Just other people just happen to watch it. You know, other people just happen to watch it. And, you know, people enjoyed it. So I was like, screw it. Let me just continue doing it. You know what I mean? Like, screw it. So, yeah. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a lot to, uh, to, to take care of, man. Like, man, I, I haven't streamed for like a whole month. And like the past three weeks, I've just been streaming every single damn day. And I'm just, I'm just going to keep streaming every single day. Yo, what's up, Jared? How are you? It's nice seeing you here again. It's nice seeing you. Help, I can't stop imagining things I can do with React. I mean, isn't that a good thing? Because you can think of all the possibilities that you can possibly do, you know what I mean? You should get a cookie if you're working that damn hard. I mean, hey, I got plenty of Oreos, man. I got plenty of Oreos. We got plenty of Oreos in our house. We've got, we've got, we've got chocolate, the, the default Oreos, the vanilla Oreos. We've got lemon Oreos. We've got uh, all types of Oreos. Uh, yeah, if you come over to my house, you can definitely have an Oreo. Just make sure you wear a mask. Because, you know, that's how it be. 
Anyone know where the Hello World thing started? Uh, I think just someone just thought about it. Anson, can I run the EJ's Engine Express server? Uh, yes. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, you can, but I would not recommend it. Like, it almost always the first thing you do at programming. True, true. True. I agree. Okay, so let me actually do this real quick. Uh, I know this is kind of more of like a chill slash talk stream, slash entertainment stream, slash rant ranting stream, slash venting stream, slash motivation stream, slash everything. Uh, we didn't really do much coding, but um, I will do more tomorrow, so don't worry. But right now, uh, I just want to make sure everyone is familiar with the bot that we're building right now. Please deliver Oreo via email. All right, all right, you guys want to see Oreos? All right, give me one sec, BRB. All right, here you go. Uh, do you think you can answer a question if I post one on your Discord server? Uh, yeah, if you just ask your question, uh, someone will be able to answer you for sure. All right, you guys ready? This is the this is actually a really good Oreo. It's a it's a lemon Oreo. It's a lemon flavored Oreo. Get that good angle on it. Get that good angle on it. Got good nice lemon. It tastes amazing. Yeah, lemon Oreo, man. Yo, if you guys hate lemon Oreo, I hope you guys don't hate a uh, pineapple with pizza. Yeah, this Oreo is so good. Like, look at that. Clean cream right there. Clean. No, nah, it's really good. So look, I didn't, I didn't think, I didn't think I would like uh, protein shakes mixed with Greek yogurt with blueberry, like chocolate whey protein shakes. Like I used to drink protein shakes. They were uh, Optimum Nutrition chocolate whey. And one day I was like, you know what? Let me actually make my protein shakes taste a little bit better. And so I mix it with Greek yogurt, some blueberries, some bananas, and yo, it was the best taste ever. Like I didn't, I never regretted it ever. It was literally the most beautiful taste ever. All right, I'll see you, Jared. Have a good one. See, he's hungry now because I uh, I made him. I, I I showed him the Oreo. TypeScript? Nah. Oh no, yeah, we are using TypeScript, sorry. Let me get a napkin real quick. Alright, there we go. I clean my keyboard often, so don't worry. Oops. Alright. Damn, it's 718 already. 718. Okay, let me see if I can go into the React app real quick. Okay, let me do one thing real quick. Because right now, we are updating the prefix uh, using... This. So we're using it, we're using, uh, we're not using GraphQL to update the prefix, which is what we should be doing. We should be using GraphQL. So, const update prefix mutation. We're going to have to import GQL. Uh, let me see where I need to import it from. Let me see. Guild config menu, I think. Guild config page. Mm, there we go. Uh, all right, let's import that. Let's move that over here. Uh, well, right over here. So GQL. Okay, and we're going to have a mutation this time. 
What is your most favorite food in the world? Uh... Well, okay, I'll, I guess fast food kind of counts. Chipotle. Chipotle. But not even, not but it's not just it's not just specifically Chipotle like like any any variation of Chipotle like you know with rice beans uh, lettuce sour cream the the sauce any any form of it is is awesome I love it I think it's I think if, I think you can make healthy Chipotle in my opinion I think there's a way you can definitely make healthier Chipotle. How do you spell Chipotle? Yeah, Roman beard got it. Back went to check my door and you didn't send or the Oreo. Yeah, man, you didn't wear a mask, so I ain't giving you an Oreo. It's the rule. It's the rule. Karen, it's not the law. <laughs> oh my god, that meme is like, uh, yeah. That's a very popular meme here. How would you make a bot that logs chat messages in the channel? Um. Well, here's the, pr here's the issue with that. If you have a channel that has thousands and thousands of messages, uh, that would be considered API abuse. So, if, you're, if, you would to, if you were to do that, I would only suggest you do it with like, a, like maybe like an interval maybe. If it's for tickets, then okay. Uh, I think I have a transcript on my. Did you? Did you? I don't know. Have you seen my transcript tutorial on my channel? I have a transcript tutorial on my channel. It should be able to help you out with it. Uh, make a Karen bot. What would the Karen? It would just be like. It would be like a shit post bot. Hey man, look. If you have an or like, if you have if you have a mask, then, hey, that that is what it is. Yeah, that's for online though. What do you mean? Uh, acclimity. Oh, you delete your message. Damn, I was about to respond to that. Okay. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna have to call get query. Alright, so let's comment this out. Okay, let's comment this out. And let's do this. Let's do const. I don't even know if this is going to work. Constant loading error data. Use query. And we'll pass in update prefix mutation. And we'll hope that this works. It's probably giving me an error because, yeah. God damn it. Alright, how can I actually use query? Uh, what do you think of the pros and cons? Uh, there's really never a con. I mean, there's never there's never really a pro when it comes to hard coding. Like, okay, look. If you hard code something, then it's going to be hard to maintain down the, down the line. Because you have so many things to replace if you do need to. So, it's better to just code moderately. Like, don't hard code, but also don't dwell over it. Like, some things you just kind of need to hard code. Because you have no choice. But if you can get, if you can avoid not hard coding, then definitely go with that. Are automatic bot status a thing? Uh, no. Okay, uh, hold on, give me one sec. Apollo client. It seems like I can't use query, so I gotta use... Oh, use lazy query. Hey, there we go. Um...
God damn it. Leave me alone. I could probably put this in the hook. I should probably put that in the hook, but I will do that later. But this is... God damn it. Screw it. I, I'm just going to test it out to see if it works or not. I just want to test it out. Uh, I don't know if that actually worked. Okay, it didn't work. Prefix form. Hmm. Alright, let's see what Chas is say. Ramez, what's up, man? How are you? Hey, that's what's up. Bit Bitcoin command, nice. Nice. Ah, I, I think I know what I need to do now. God damn, this is gonna suck. Uh, so... Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna need to do a couple things. Uh, I think with update prefix, I think this is where I can pass in uh, my parameters, I think. Is that how I did it there? No. Ah, there we go. Okay. So I think maybe with this, I actually do need to pass in something down into props. Uh, I think I might need the guild ID actually. So, yeah, let's okay. Let's let's try this. Let's just make sure it works first, and then we can figure this out. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, let me get this guild ID. Okay, and let's do this. Update prefix variables. And what we want to do is we want the guild. ID to be this. We're going to hard code it temporarily just for testing purposes. And then we're going to have another variable called prefix. Command prefix. Alright, there we go. This should work, hopefully. I hope it does. Uh, seems like it threw an error. Returning a query requires a GraphQL query book. Oh, maybe there's a different way to do mutations. Hmm, that's uh, that's interesting. That's interesting. We need a different way to do mutations. Oh, it's because we have to do use. Me oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense.
Okay, I think, yeah, 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 there we go. Okay. Hopefully that works now. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think this should work now. We had like a very strange error, but. Alright, let's hope this works. Uh, did it work? I think it did. I think it did. Let's refresh. Bam, we just update the prefix, and now if I go on my Discord server, if I go on my Discord server, and if I do test, bam, we just changed the prefix using GraphQL. Let me change it to ampersand. Okay, it was updated. And let's go ahead and do this again. Bam, there we go. Perfect, it works. Awesome. All right, so we've made a little bit of progress today, which is good. Very, very good. Very, very good. All right. Uh, it is 7.30 p.m. right now. Awesome. Awesome. All right, yo, guys, I'm going to actually get off, okay? But I will be streaming again tomorrow. I'll probably be streaming this whole week. Uh, but, yeah, yo, thank you guys so much for joining the stream and chatting with me. I really appreciate it. You guys were awesome. Thank you once again to Chaotic for donating and boosting the server, okay? And if you guys are not in the server, feel free to join the server. And, uh... Yeah, that's uh, that's all I gotta say, man. Feel free to check out the stream tomorrow. I will be streaming at the same time. And uh, like I said, join the server. The link is in the description. There's no excuse. Join the goddamn server. I'm just kidding. Only if you want to. Alright, guys. So I'll see you uh, tomorrow. Peace.